A lot of cars these days are fully electric or hybrid cars like this 2018 Chevy Bolt. And that just means that they're powered by an internal combustion engine that's supplemented with an electric motor. Now, of course, most good car guys know how the internal combustion engine works, but the electric motor is still a big mystery. So today, I'm gonna explain to you how electric motors work. In a small motor like the one from this toy, electricity is sent through coils of wires. The wires produce a magnetic field which repels the magnet inside the motor forcing it in a rotational direction and creating torque for the wheels. A much bigger electric motor, like in this car, works basically on the same principle but on a much bigger scale. And it starts off with two parts, the stator and the rotor. The stator of an electric motor is the coils of wires nestled in a circle around the rotor, which is a long tube with rods on it slotted inside the stator. When an electric motor turns on, electricity from the battery is sent through the coiled wires in the stator, creating a magnetic field. This field is then repelled by magnets inside the motor, which forces the rotor around in a circle to propel the car. Now, of course, there are a ton of different types of electric motors, but they're mostly divided into AC and DC electric motors, which run on AC and DC electricity, respectively. Now, the different types of electricity are way beyond the scope of this video as far as explaining them goes, but basically you need to know that AC electricity comes in pulses, and DC electricity comes in a smooth, linear line. Now, since the stator in the motor must continue to pull the rotor in a circle, the magnetic field needs to be moving as well, going in pulses like AC electricity. So when DC electricity runs through the electric motor in a linear way, the polarities of the magnet will remain stationary, meaning that the motor would reverse every 180 degrees, moving the car a little bit forward and then a little bit backwards in an unending loop. So to overcome this problem, a commutator is added to the DC electric motor, which will reverse the direction of the electric current every half turn of the motor, meaning that it will be able to continue moving in a forwards direction. So this commutator makes DC electric motors more complicated, more expensive to make, and less efficient and powerful than their AC counterparts, and that's why AC electric motors are a lot more common in electric cars like this one. If you're really into electric vehicles and learning how they work, you can check out the video I did on batteries in electric cars right there, or you can learn how to modify electric cars right there. It's an older video, but still really good. Also, before we leave, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment your thoughts below, and go ahead and check out my channel, so I've got a ton of exotic supercar, hypercar, and electric car views up. So, subscribe, and thanks for watching.